Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem that deals with an expression. I have P of x plus 2 over x equals to x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 6 plus 1. We are going to find P of radical 2 here. Let's talk about the solution now. To talk about the solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use x plus 2 over x as radical 2. And I'm going to try to find how to evaluate what I have on the right hand side. To do this, first, if we use x plus 2 over x is radical 2, I can easily simplify it and write it as x squared plus 2 equals to radical 2x. Now remember what I wanted to find was x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 6 plus 1. So I'm going to try to find x to the power of 6 and x to the power of 12 here. To do this, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take power of 2 of both sides and then I will use a plus b to the power of 2. Remember, I can write it as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab here. If I do this, for the first one, I'm going to have x to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4 times x squared. And for the other one, I will have 2x squared. Now, I have 4x squared and 2x squared. I'm going to simplify it. And then the final thing that I have is x to the power of 4 plus 2 times x squared plus 4 equals to 0. I cannot easily simplify this, but there is a trick here. First, I'm going to take 2 from the second term and third term. If I do this, I will have x squared plus 2. And remember, I already know that what I can do with x squared plus 2. To do this, let's remember where we started. x squared plus 2 can be written as radical 2x. So I'm going to use radical 2x here. Then x to the power of 4 is going to be negative 2 times radical 2x. And this is something that I'm going to continue. Now, this is the last thing that we found. And remember, we wanted to find x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 6 plus 1. I already have x to the power of 4. And I'm going to continue my way towards x to the power of 6 and x to the power of 12. To do this, let's start with x to the power of 6. x to the power of 6 can be written as x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2. Now, I already know what I have for x to the power of 4. This is given. For x to the power of 2, I use what I had before. And now I need to simplify it. Simplification is rather easy. I have radical 2 times radical 2, which is going to be 2. And then 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And then I have negative here and then x times x. So I'm going to have negative 4x squared and then for the other one you can easily see that it's going to be 4 times radical 2 times x. From here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out negative 4 times x to simplify x minus radical 2 here and for this remember we already meet now that x plus 2 times over x is radical 2. So x minus radical 2 is negative 2 over x. So if I use negative 2 over x here, we know that x is not 0. So x and x are going to cancel out each other. Negative and negative are going to be gone. And then I have x to the power of 6 is 8 here. Now I have x to the power of 6 as a constant. So x to the power of 12 is going to be 8 to the power of 2 or 64. Now what I wanted to find is easy now. I will have 64. 
I will have a and I have one and if you add them together you will end up with 73 as the final answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more math puzzle and problems from different competitions please subscribe to this channel this is the security channel and I hope to see you in the next video